motivation. It's what we're all looking for to get through the grind that we need to get through for training or to reach any goal that we're trying to reach, especially in athletics. And I'm going to help you learn how to create that motivation that you need. My name is Stacy Fletcher. I was on staff with crew for 18 years, and now I work with Athletes Mindset Academy, where we help athletes learn how to use their mind, how to use their emotions to create the dreams that they're really going after. So motivation is a feeling. And the reason that you need the motivation to take the actions you want to be taking is because feelings are literally your fuel. Every action that you take, every action that you don't take comes from a feeling. And the way that you create those feelings is by the things that you're thinking. You think that those feelings come from the situation that you're in or from a person, something outside of you. But if that was true, we would all feel the exact same way in the same circumstance. We don't even always feel the exact same way in the same circumstance, right? Like we feel differently at different times around the same thing. And the reason is because of what we're thinking. And so to generate that fuel that you need to take the actions, to generate that that feeling of motivation, you need to figure out how to think of, think thoughts that are actually going to generate that feeling in you. Here are some thoughts that I think are really helpful. One, coming up with your compelling reason. Why do you want to do this? What is the big idea behind this? What's the reason? What's the dream? What's the goal? And then why do you actually want that goal? If the goal is to win, why do you want to win? If the goal is to create a winning team, why do you want a winning team? Like, What's the reason under the reason? Get down to your actual compelling reason. And then look at the thing that you need to do and look at how it fits in to reaching that compelling reason. So maybe this thing gets you more endurance or more, you know, you're stronger to be able to do the thing that you need to do or your time management or any of these things. Like how does this fit in to getting you towards your bigger goal. I was coaching a, a young soccer player yesterday and he needs to start drinking more protein shakes in order to get the nutrition to energize him to be able to play that he wants to, the, the way that he wants to play. But he hates these drinks. And so he was just talking about the disgust that he felt and how he had to force it down. But when he went and looked at that he actually wanted to do this so that he could have more energy, and that if he had more energy, he'd be able to, you know, play in this specific way, then he was really motivated to drink the drinks. And I would even go beyond motivation to feelings like curious, open, willing, patient. This can take as long as it takes. And explore more. So for him, he went even from disgust to curious to try to figure out how he could make these shakes more palatable in order to really get to where he wanted to get to. So when you move it, this is the last secret, moving it from this has to to want to. Tell yourself the truth. You don't have to do any of this. You want to do this. So coming back to why do you want to do this your big compelling reason, your smaller reasons. And then each day at the beginning of the day, look at the things that you need to do, figure out the fuel that you need to get those done, and then generate the thoughts that are actually going to do that. And then supervise your brain to think the thoughts on purpose. I'd love to help you do this more. You can follow us uh, on Facebook, Instagram. We send out a weekly newsletter where we teach you how to do these kinds of things. Until then, may you be motivated to do the things you need to do to reach your dreams. Have a great day.